What's going on, you guys? It is Jujitsu Joey from Deep Six Wrestling. Um, I've decided to make a brand new series called Kick Out or Get Out. Um, it's going to be basically me ranting about the WWE or wrestling in general. So this week's episode, I'm going to be talking about WWE's Super Showdown live from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Uh, before I get into that episode, um, for more information about Deep Six, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter. The links for that will be in the description below. Thank you very much. Um, I decided that ranting about wrestling would be a better fit for me since I am very highly opinionated on the matters of wrestling. Um, so WWE's Super Showdown was all but super. And let me tell you why. I couldn't sit through it. I actually tried to go back and watch it and review it. And that's when it came to me. Maybe I shouldn't be reviewing things. Maybe I should be ranting about things. And I couldn't watch it at all. It it just did not interest me whatsoever. Uh, first off, I do not support WWE's 10-year deal with Saudi Arabia, because I just think it's blood money. But I'm not going to get all political. I'm just going to go, you know, away from there. Because this is about wrestling. And all this pay-per-view is, is a glorified house show. When you pretty much know who's going to win. Um... So, what really threw me off is the main event, which was Undertaker versus Goldberg. 20 years ago, that would be a great match. That would be an excellent match. Well, I don't know about excellent, but it'd be exciting because, you know, 20 years ago. It is the year 2019. Both men are 50 years old plus. And wow, what a sloppy, sloppy match. Whoever was in charge of writing that match needs to be fired. Not not even them, but Goldberg and Undertaker. You guys need to retire. You guys need to stay retire. You guys are legends in the company. There is no one bigger than The Undertaker when it comes to, like, an icon. Um, Goldberg is also iconic. Um, just retire. Like, that's all you have to do. Just retire. Like, you've done... You guys are Hall of Famers. You guys have done your dues for the company. You just don't need to prove yourself anymore to anyone. Because the more you try to get more out of you, it's just gonna backfire. And... It's going to produce a sloppy wrestling match like we saw at Super Showdown. And no one needs that. No one wants that. I don't know who that's for. But I pray for whoever that's for. I pray for you. I hope you find peace. Um, so the card had a bunch of interesting matches. Um... So, the best match of the night was supposedly, I mean, like I said, I didn't really watch, but I heard, I saw highlights and I've heard, um, was Triple H versus Randy Orton for the 20th time, 20th plus maybe, I don't know, um, and that's saying something if that was the best match, uh, like, come on, Triple H, what is he still doing wrestling? I mean, Triple H is also a legend, and he's brilliant with NXT and the company and everything, but you don't need to wrestle anymore. We don't need to see it anymore. Like, we know what we're going to get out of a Triple H match nowadays, and it's like, meh. Um, they had a 50-man battle royale match, and it didn't even look like there was 50 men in that ring. Um, I, I call bullshit on that. Um, and they had their hometown hero, uh, Mansoor win, um, which was, I don't know, cool, I guess, like, what does that really do for him, I mean, he won in front of his hometown, that's awesome, but what is WWE gonna do for him, like, is he gonna get a good push, or is he just gonna get buried 
on the NXT roster. I, the world will never know. Um, yeah. There was some matches that just didn't need to be. Like, Lars Sullivan versus the Lucha House Party? Why? Why, why is that a thing? Like, why? There's, there's no need for that booking at all. And it's, it's even hard to support Lars Sullivan after reading from that wrestler, that wrestler, uh, well, bodybuilding forum that he posted to about all that, you know, racist stuff. Like, it's just hard to support the guy. And the fact that he's beating up a bunch of, like, luchadors and <laughs> that's just like, I don't know, WWE. That's a, it's gonna be a no for me. But yeah, so like, I pray that WWE gets their act together, S especially when it comes to pay-per-views. Um, so they decided to change Backlash into Stomping Grounds, and it has to have one of the worst logos I've ever seen and slogans I've ever heard. Um, so this pay-per-view is basically a bunch of rematches that no one really needs. Because remember, WWE said that there is no more guaranteed rematches for titles. But, <laughs> surprise! That didn't happen. Um, I truly believe that WWE can get their shit together. If they really, really try to get their shit together. But it needs to start by backing out of that Saudi deal. Because the pay-per-views aren't good. They're not doing matches that matter. They're not putting on good matches. Goldberg versus Taker is so fucking random. There was no build-up to it. There was just... No one wanted that. In the year 2019, nobody wanted that. Like I said, call me 20 years ago, I'll be interested. But I'd also be five years old. But that's beside the point. I don't know. I, I'm, you know, lost. I'm lost. With words. So this was my first episode on Kick Out or Get Out. So... I'm actually going on scripted. I wrote no notes, like I usually do, because I just really, really had a rant from the heart to y'all. I love wrestling. I love the WWE. The WWE is basically a family to me. I grew up since I was eight years old watching the WWE. That's about 15 years of tuning into Raw and SmackDown and every single pay-per-view. So it hurts. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. That I see the product nowadays. And it's like, why? Why so boring? And hurtful. Just please. From the bottom of my heart. Vince McMahon. Retire. Give the keys over to Triple H. Let him run the show. And AEW isn't going anywhere. They've got money. They've got talent. They've got pop. If you want to make a better product than them, Vince, please retire. All right, guys, that is it for today. Um, be sure to check out Kick Out or Get Out every Friday, noon Eastern time. Once again, yours truly, Jiu-Jitsu Joey. Keep kicking it, guys.